so here the question asks about the first investigation of choice in unstable and critically ill patients with suspected massive pulmonary embolism so the important points to note here are is that the patient is unstable and critically ill and we are suspecting pulmonary embolism so in such cases echocardiography becomes a first choice because the patient is unstable and critically ill so you cannot take the patient to a ct scanner otherwise in stable patients the first investigation is ct pulmonary angiography plus the echocardiography helps us to look for right ventricular dysfunction so if we look at the algorithm if there's a patient with shock or hypertension that is unstable and ct angiography is not immediately available then we do a echocardiography and look for rv overload if the rv overload is present then it is confirms pulmonary embolism and the treatment should be started for pulmonary embolism that is thrombolysis or embolectomy if there is no rv overload then echocardiography helps us to look for other causes of hemodynamic instability like cardiac tamponade or valvular disease or something of that sort that is why echocardiography becomes very helpful in unstable and critically ill patients otherwise ct angiography is the first investigation of choice therefore the answer here is echocardiography